Hi there and welcome to this video. My name's Gareth and today we're going to be looking at how to whiten teeth in Photopea in a natural and quick way. So I'm going to start off here. As you can see, we've got a really nice natural portrait shot here. I'm just going to zoom into the teeth a bit more so we can see what's going on. Now the teeth are fairly yellow. I mean, they're not too bad, but this is the kind of typical thing you will see um, that is easy to correct, but also easy to mess up if you do it the wrong way. And I'll show you how to avoid that mistake. So the first thing we need to do is create a rough selection around the teeth. I'm just doing it with a lasso tool, but you can do it with whatever selection method you like. And because we're going to be targeting specifically the yellow in the teeth, it doesn't matter if you go into the gums a little bit or onto the lip. Just make sure you've captured the teeth in their entirety. Try to be as accurate as you can, but it, it's no big deal if it goes over. And I'll show you why in a moment. So now we've got our rough selection covering the teeth. I'm going to go down to the adjustment layers and we're going to choose hue saturation. And because we started with a selection when we created the hue saturation, it's already created a layer mask for us. So that's great. So now we can just press command or shift D to deselect or just click onto the canvas and it should do it for you. So we've got rid of that live selection. So now, before I show you the proper technique, I will give you an example of what a lot of people do and it's a really bad idea and it's a terrible result. And that is at this stage, when the range is set to master, which is the default, is to just desaturate it. This is a really bad idea and I'll show you why. Forget the fact it's affecting the gums because that's just down to our selection choice. But if you look at the teeth, they just look really unnatural, gray, and even for like teeth that you'd whitened in the real world, they still wouldn't look like this. It just looks awful and I see this all the time. So I'm gonna show you the proper way to do this and it's actually super easy. What we need to do is to change the range mode to yellow. Now what Photop is doing here is it's zoning in on the colors that it perceives as yellow in the image. And because our teeth are yellow, it's gonna be targeting those specific tones and not every single pixel on the teeth. And now if we desaturate, you'll see that it de-yellows the teeth with a lot more of a natural and convincing way. So it's not gonna end up with super bright white gray teeth, you know, with, with just, they just look horrible and fake. So we can take the saturation down a bit. We can also increase the lightness just to brighten them slightly. And again, this is gonna be more subtle because we're targeting specific colors within the teeth. And you can play with the hue slightly but that sort of depends on the color temperature and tone of your overall image. I'm gonna push it to the left a little bit just to, to kind of make it look right with the overall color temperature of the image itself. So now I'm gonna zoom out, and this is important because you shouldn't spend too much time zoomed into something because you lose perspective on the shot. So now if I look at this shot and we do a before and after of the hue saturation layer, you'll see we've taken care of that yellowness, but super quick, and it looks really natural and not at all artificial or fake, which of course would just would look wrong on this kind of shot. This is a more informal shot, so this really suits. And that is it. That is, as far as I know, the quickest, easiest, and best way to whiten teeth in Photopea. And I hope you enjoy it. And please leave a comment if you want me to explore other kinds of retouching tutorials in the future, maybe some skin work, um, how to enhance eyes and things like that. Let me know what you want to see. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a like because it really helps the channel get pushed in YouTube and a comment or subscription would be fantastic as well. But for now, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.